Hello friends, welcome to Joy of Life. So yesterday I was looking at a few of the new problems that's been added by Elite Code, uh, medium and hard level problems. So I came across this uh, um, different kind of problem, this one, uh, 1791, which is a Elite Code medium level problem. It says find center of star graph. So uh, there is an undirected star graph consisting of N nodes labeled from one to N. A star graph is a graph where there is one center node and exactly n minus one edges that connects the center node with every other node. So you are given a 2D array of edges where each edge i equals to ui vi indicate that there is an edge between the nodes ui and vi. Return the center of the uh, given star graph. So if you look at one of the examples, so this is what a star graph looks like. So basically what you have is uh, this node. Uh, so there are four nodes, right? There are four nodes, one, two, three, and four. So there will be, uh, so n is four, and there would, will be n minus one edges. So edges equals to n minus one. So there will be three edges in this case, right? So these are the three edges and each node should be each uh, edge is connecting between one of the nodes so which becomes the center of the star in this case the center of the um, star is two and two is our answer as well over here you, you can see so <clears throat> though this is a medium level problem but it looks uh, very trivial to me uh, though give it a try yourself to solve this problem and uh, you can pause the video and think of a solution the solution is very simple uh, very simple if you look at the uh, solution once you resume the video you will be uh, like literally shocked that is this really a medium level problem <clears throat> so let's look at the solution and for the solution i am not going to use the board we are going to use uh, the example given in lead code itself so here are a couple of examples that you can see over here right so there are they are also given a constraint that there will be at least uh, three nodes for sure and we have uh, been given with the values like one two so this edge which connects between one and two so let me put it again so one uh, one and two which means uh, this node they're talking about this edge then you have two and three this is this edge you're uh, they're talking about and four and two so this edge so if you look at this problem one thing that you will definitely notice definitely notice is the edge that forms the star is present in all the nodes right in all the cases so here uh, two is present in all the edges right and so two is our star node. So it's a uh, undirected graph. So there has to be a node going out or coming inside um, given uh, from the constraint of the problem. And if you look at the second example also, you'll see that every every uh, edge has this one over here. So I'm not sure they want, maybe lead code wanted to formulate a different kind of problem statement here, but uh, what it turned out to be something very easy. So, uh, uh, as as uh, mentioned in the problem that there will be uh, minimum minimum of three edges so we don't need to have a null check in place so what i'm going to do is it's uh, very evident so let's let's say i have a x and in this a, uh, x what i'm going to do is so basically <clears throat> what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, have two variables in x and in y and i am going to initialize them with um, edges 0 0 and 0 1 right so let me first put it in place okay so i know that uh, these are the two edges and one of them is definitely the uh, the star uh, star node either the one or the two so in the, in this example let's say we have one and two either one is the star or two is the star right so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to do a very easy check. So I'm just going to look over the next uh, next edge that was passed to me that if uh, one zero is X or edges one one is X. If if this condition is met, then I can certainly say that X is my edge, right? And if not, Y is my uh, star node. 
so if uh, the next nodes x uh, like you are given with a pair right five and a one so i have stored the first first stages to value into x and y and i'm check checking on the next stage that do i see a x in any of the uh, any of the values means five or one if it is so then it has to be x otherwise it is just y it's as simple as that so let's run and uh, let's uh, take a look at the solution so yeah it has been accepted so if i do a submit and do check for a broader range of test cases you see that we have around zero milliseconds like almost no memory usage almost uh, uh, like no extra memory usage of uh, of what we got so this algorithm basically runs in order of one i'll say and uh, in terms of both space and complexity so yeah maybe they wanted to create something else and they they ended up creating something else so yeah that is all from this video this is a very trivial one just thought of having some fun and sharing this do let me know your thoughts about the solution and do give it a like if you like the solution so yeah i'll create more videos uh, today it was more of just a fun session that i wanted to do with this problem but um, do subscribe do like do comment and thanks once again for watching have a great day see you guys bye bye